the next topic is pronoun what is pronoun okay jo noun hai noun ke jagah pe hum log jo use karte hai suppose um we will take this example um okay uh, suppose <coughs> ashoka was a great king full stop hum log ashoka was a great king to yahan pe ashoka is the naming word ashoka naam hai to ashoka noun hai theek hai abhi ashoka ke bare mein agar hum log kuch aur likhte hain jaise ki he was very kind agar hum log aise likhte hain ashoka was a great king ashoka was very kind sunne mein kharab lagta hai ek hi ek hi sentence mein bar bar agar subject ka naam liya jaye to ek bar use kiya subject ka name लेकिन उसके बाद फिर से अगर हम लोग सब्जेक्ट का नेम यूज करते हैं तो वो अच्छा नहीं सुनते हैं ठीक है सुनता है तो वॉट वी विल से अशोका वॉज अ ग्रेट किंग ही वॉज वेरी काइंड सो ही इन प्लेस ऑफ अशोका अशोका के जगह पे हम लोग ही यूज किए ठीक है सो ही इज द सब्जेक्ट प्रोनाउन ओके सो a word that is used instead of a noun this is noun ye noun hai ashoka ashoka is a name that is a noun so instead of ashoka we are using he ashoka ke jagah pe hum log he use kar rahe hain to he is the pronoun theek hai to a word that is used instead of a noun is called a pronoun ashoka is a king he went to a forest he killed a lion suppose if this if this is our example if we say like this ashoka is a king ashoka went to a forest ashoka killed a lion this sounds good okay we took ashoka's name first ashoka ka naam hum log pehle liye uske baad bar bar ashoka ashoka nahi bolke hum log he use kar rahe so this he is a pronoun ashoka is a king ashoka went to a forest ashoka killed a lion ye sunne mein acha nahi lag raha hai to what we are saying ashoka is a king he went to a forest he killed a lion theek hai to ye jo he hai ye pronoun hai okay so he is a pronoun there are many kinds of pronouns but now they are not needed to learn tenses among those many types let us learn only one type that is subjective pronoun bahut sare pronoun hai usme sabse important hai subjective pronoun okay to hum log subjective pronoun ke bare mein sikhenge <coughs> like he she it they these are subjective pronoun okay so now verb thoda thoda karke janenge har ek topic ke bare mein before we start with tense okay so the next topic is verbs verbs kya hai action word verbs is action word doing anything is an action suppose i am writing he is listening to music uh sita is swimming um uh, rita is dancing so kya kar rahe singing dancing eating sleeping going to school going to college okay uh, drink uh, i mean uh, to run to drink all these are action words doing anything hum log jab kuch kaam karte hai usko bolte hai action words theek hai to examples are go run drink use drive sleep sell buy speak read wash enjoy catch etc so these are all action words that is verbs 
Next, what are subjective pronoun? Very simple. I, we, you, he, she, it and they are the subjective pronoun. <coughs> now, suppose uh, we will go to the, we will go to this slide and see. See, Rohan is going to New York. Sumesh reached the university. So these are subjects. These are nouns. So instead of uh, Sumesh reached the university, if I write he is a good student. So, uh, Sumesh is a pronoun, sorry Sumesh is a noun and instead of Sumesh when I am writing he, he is the pronoun or subject pronoun. Subject ke jagah pe jo am log word use kar rahe hai, usko bolte hai subject pronoun. Okay? Shiv will come tomorrow. So, after this if I write, he is excited, Shiv will come tomorrow, he is excited. So, he is again a subjective pronoun. I eat very well, I is a subjective pronoun. Okay? He sleeps quickly. So, he, she, it, they, we, etc. are subjective pronoun. Okay? So, <clears throat> so, uh, what are subjective pronoun? I'll just uh, I'll just be brief about the uh, definition of subjective pronoun. It is very simple. I, we, you, he, she, it, and they are subjective pronoun. Remembering these seven words is easy, but you should do another thing too. These subjective pronouns are classified into six types. Okay. The first person singular, the second person singular, third person singular and first person plural, second person plural and third person plural. You must remember the following tables perfectly. Okay? So, we will go to the next slide and exactly make you understand what is it. See. The subjective pronoun, how we differentiate? Hum log differentiate kaise karte, karte hai? Thik hai? First person, I. Agar plural hai, we. Jaise ki, <coughs> I love to eat sweets. Okay? So, I is a singular uh, subject pronoun. Okay? We love to eat sweets. Okay? So, we is plural. Plural form of first person subjective pronoun. First person, second person, third person. Aise divide kiya jata hai. Or singular or plural alag se. Differentiate karte hai hum log. To I and we are the singular and plural first person. Thik hai? Second person, matlab hum chhod ke aur koi dousra agar hai. To uske baare mein. Like singular is plural, uh, singular is you. Okay? Plural maybe hum log you bolte hai. Jaise ki example, um, you, uh, you love to dance. Do you love to dance? Okay. So, you singular hai. 
you guys can come to our place. So again, we are using, uh, in case of plural also, we are using you. So you, hum log, singular, uh, singular ke isme bhi uh, use karte hai, aur plural ke, ke liye bhi hum log you use karte hai. Thik hai? Now the third person is he, she, it. Agar singular hai to. Thik hai? Jaise ki hum log pehle jo examples liye, he, she, it. Agar um, ladka hua, to he. Agar ladki hui, to she. And if it's a baby or an, or an animal or any non-living thing like um, doll, okay, then um, pencil box, okay, in that, in that case we use it, okay, or um, if it's a female, we use she and if it's a male, we use he in case of singular third person subject pronoun. Whereas in plural, we always use they. Hum log kya use karte hai? Hum log they use karte hai jab hum log plural ke baare mein bol rahe hai subjective pronoun ke is mein. Thik hai? So the next slide has we have 12 tenses. In each and every tense you must concentrate on two main things. Okay? One is the structure of the tense and the uses. These two are very important. क्या है structure of a sen, uh, structure of a tense और उसका use हम लोग कैसे करते हैं application हम लोग कैसे करते हैं uh, एक sentence के हिसाब से that is very important in all the twelve tenses the structure of the tense and uses of the tenses is very very important okay <coughs> structure of the tense में क्या है exactly what are the rules to be following to prepare a sentence in a tense. Every verb has four forms. For example, eat, ate, eaten, eating. Verb ka char form hai. Thik hai? Eat, I love to eat. Ate, I ate yesterday. Jo past tense mein chala gaya. Eaten, I have eaten the fruits. Thik hai? Or eating. Jo continuous hai. I am eating now. So, eat is just an example to make you guys understand what exactly uh, are the rules to be followed jab hum log ek sentence prepare karte hai tense ke hisaab se. Thik hai? Eat agar hai, eat agar hai, to wo daily jo kaam karte hai hum log eat. I eat daily. Okay? To wo daily ho raha hai, to iska matlab hai, hum log use kar raha hai eat. अगर हम लोग एट यूज कर रहे हैं मतलब वो हो चुका है हम लोग खा लिए वी ऑलरेडी एट इट हैज ऑलरेडी हैपन्ड इन द पास्ट ओके इटन हम लोगों ने खा लिए दैट इज अनादर एग्जांपल ऑफ अनादर वे ऑफ सेइंग द वर्क हैज ऑलरेडी बी डन वो काम ऑलरेडी हो चुका है एट इज अ लाइक अ सिंपल पास्ट और इटन हम लोग यूज करते हैं जब हम लोग सिंपल परफेक्ट uh, में जाते हैं ठीक है थीके? And eating is again a continuous tense. Okay. So, what form of the verb should we use? What auxiliary verb? Auxiliary verb ko hum log kya bolte hai? Auxiliary verb ko hum log helping verb bhi bolte hai. Thik hai? Ek sentence mein helping verb is very very important. Agar hum log helping verb uh, omit karte hai. Thik hai? अगर निकाल देते हैं हेल्पिंग वर्ब तो फिर वो सेंटेंस ही कंस्ट्रक्ट नहीं होता है हम लोग सेंटेंस बना ही नहीं पाएंगे ठीक है सो हेल्पिंग वर्ब इज वेरी वेरी इसेंशियल व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज इसका और एक दूसरा नाम है दैट इज ऑक्सिलियरी वर्ब क्या है ये इज वाज हैव हैज विल एटसेट्रा ठीक है ये हम लोग टेंस में यूज करते हैं एक छोटा एग्जांपल ले लेते हैं <clears throat> Suppose, it's a very simple example I'm going to take. I am eating apple. Ye example lete hai. I am eating apple. Okay? Agar hum log am ko hata dete hai. 
आई ईटिंग एप्पल इसका कोई मतलब होता है नहीं होता है तो ये सुनने में भी बहुत ख़राब लगता है ये सेंटेंस फॉर्मेशन हुआ ही नहीं सो so, ये, ये ये जो एम है ठीक है एम इज अगेन अ हेल्पिंग वर्ब एम को क्या बोलते हैं हेल्पिंग वर्ब बोलते हैं जैसे कि इज शी इज सिक अगर हम लोग ऐसे बोलते हैं शी सिक कोई मतलब हुआ नहीं हुआ तो शी इज सिक सो इज क्या करते हैं ये जो वो क्या है वर्ब सिक मतलब शी इज सिक तो उसका हाल क्या है वो उसका तबीयत सही नहीं है शी इज सिक तो ये जो सिक है ये है एक वर्ब ठीक है तो उ, उसको कौन से वर्ब से हेल्पिंग वर्ब से उसको सपोर्ट दे रहे शी इज सिक ठीक है तो इज वॉज हैव हैज विल एटसेट्रा और भी बहुत सारे हैं दीज आर कॉल्ड एज ऑक्सिलियरी वर्ब और एज हेल्पिंग वर्ब ठीक है सो वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन यूजेस वट इज द यूज ऑफ द टेंस वेन डू वी यूज दिस टेंस एंड इन वॉट सिचुएशन शुड वी यूज दिस टेंस ये जो तीन चीजें हैं दिस इज वेरी दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके टेंस का यूज क्या है वेन डू वी यूज दिस टेंस कब हम लोग यूज कर रहे हैं और कौन से सिचुएशन में हम लोग टेंस यूज करते हैं दीज थ्री यूजेस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बहुत क्रुशियल है टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टेंस इन अ सेंटेंस ओके For every tense, you must clearly know and understand the above two things, such as the structure of a tense and its uses. Structure of a tense and its uses. These two topics are very, very important to understand the total concept of a tense. For every tense, these two things change. जैसे कि अगर हम लोग ऐसे बोलते हैं कि आई एम ईटिंग तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ सिचुएशन देखो मैं खा रही हूं ठीक है आई एम ईटिंग दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूस थिंग ये इट इज हैपनिंग राइट नाउ तो ये प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस में जाता है ठीक है विच इज हैपनिंग राइट नाउ लेकिन अगर हम लोग ऐसे बोलते हैं कि मैं हम लोग uh, मैंने ऑलरेडी uh, खा लिए ठीक है सो हाउ डू वी चेंज द टेंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी ईटन माई ब्रेकफास्ट ठीक है इसका मतलब वो जो चीज है वो ऑलरेडी हो चुका है दैट थिंग इज ऑलरेडी हैपन इन द पास्ट विच इज नॉट हैपनिंग राइट नाउ सो फॉर एवरी टेंस दीज टू थिंग्स चेंज वी शैल लर्न दीज टू थिंग्स for all the tenses in the coming lessons thank you